look guys, our friends are here. Hello everyone. We are celebrating the good news today that God sent his only son to die for us. Yeah. That when we choose to believe and we ask for forgiveness, he washes away all our sins and we get to go to heaven and spend the forever with him. Isn't that awesome news? So let's celebrate. Let's dance around and shout it out. Come on, let's go. God loves us and he gave his only son. He is awesome. we planted are making me so happy. They light up the whole clubhouse. Where do you think would be the best place to put them? Oh, I know. <laughs> I love these flowers. They make my fuzzy wuzzy heart so happy. Hmm, where do you think I should put Devin's flower pot? Aha! Ta-da! This is the perfect place for a chocolate chip cookie flower pot. Poppy's flower pot is so super colorful and fun. Maybe I should leave it right here, in the middle of the clubhouse. How's that? Wait a minute, there's only three. Where's Kai's flower pot? Uh, oh, I remember. Kai gave his flower pot to his grandma. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Ho, ho. 
you've made quite the flower garden. It's true. Hi, Ollie. They're just so beautiful. It makes my heart happy to look at them. It's good to find something we love. Who? Who? And even better to share it with others, too. So let's hear this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Oh, hey friends, all month long, we've been celebrating Easter and how Jesus is alive. That reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Ha <laughs> ha, great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. And done. Okay, now today's true story from the Bible happens on a mountain. Jesus told his friends, the disciples, to meet him on the mountain. Well, here are the disciples, but where is Jesus? Do you see him? When you see him, yell, Jesus, is he over here? What about over there? Do you see him? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Yay, Jesus. <laughs> so Jesus went to his friends, the disciples, and he told them he had an important job for them to do. It's an important job that he wants us to do too. Do you want to know what it is? Say, I want to know, I want to know, ready? I want to know, I want to know. <laughs> Good. Jesus said our important job is to tell everyone, everywhere, that Jesus is alive and we can follow him. Whoa, do you think we can do it? Let's say that together. Jesus is alive and we can follow him. One more time. Jesus is alive and we can follow him. Let's practice. Oh, look, it's Grandpa. Let's tell him Jesus is alive and we can follow him. All together now. Ready? Jesus is alive and we can follow him. Great. It's our neighbor checking her mail. Let's tell her too. Ready? Jesus is alive and we can follow him. Let's do one more. Hey, look, it's our friends playing in the park. Let's tell them, ready? Jesus is alive and we can follow him. <laughs> we did it. Great job, everyone. That's what Jesus wants us to do, to tell everyone everywhere that he's alive and we can follow him. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is alive? Jesus is alive. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is alive? Jesus is alive. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. We can follow Jesus, and we can tell others too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow. Jesus told his friends to tell everyone, everywhere, that Jesus is alive and that we can follow him too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I think these flowers are so beautiful. I can't just keep them in the clubhouse. I want to share, like Kai. And when I give these flowers to my neighbors, I can tell them that Jesus is alive. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Forever and ever, Revelation 1.18. I am alive forever and ever, Revelation 1.18.
Hello friends, it's Mrs. Christine and I've got my helper Sam with me today. Well, wasn't that an awesome true story, our true Bible story? Jesus asked his friends to tell everyone about the good news and he wants you and me to share the good news with everyone. Well, the Bible calls that good news the gospel. That's the good news of Jesus. So I thought that we could make a craft to help us to share the good news. So we have our fuzzy wuzzy caterpillars here that we can make. Fuzzy wuzzy aren't black. Fuzzy wuzzy. No, that's true, but these ones are. So we can, if you have egg cartons, you can cut out five little uh, egg cartons out, but please ask an adult for help. If you don't have an egg carton, that's okay, because you can also uh, cut out circles. So we used a bowl to trace circles and cut them out. Um, and what's something special about these caterpillars? What's all the same? They all have the same colors, right? Um, so we have started with black, red, white, gold or yellow, and green. So these are the special colors that are going to help you share the good news of Jesus with others. And then don't forget, you can decorate your caterpillars. We just colored on eyes and a mouth, but it would be pretty cool if you could use maybe googly eyes if you have them, or some uh, red yarn for the mouth. Be creative. Whatever is in your craft drawer, you can use. And we even used, what did you use for your caterpillars, Antanna, Sam? Feathers. Feathers. Yeah. So, do you guys remember what we made last week? Flowers. We made flowers. And you know what? This reminds me that God created a beautiful and perfect world for everyone. He created you and me uh, to be his friends and to enjoy everything that he made. But what happened? Yeah. No, what happened is that we sinned, and we can see with the black circle that we sinned. We chose to go our own way and ignore God's way. So the punishment of that sin is that we can no longer be friends with God, and we can't live with Him forever in heaven. But God had a plan, and we can move on to the red circle. He promised to send his son Jesus, and Jesus came as a helpless baby, but he had all of God's power and all of God's love. And Jesus grew, but he never sinned, and he taught us how we should live. And he loved us so much that he took our punishment for our sin by dying on the cross and his blood was shed for us. That's where we get the red color. His blood was shed for us. And you know what? When we choose to believe that Jesus died for our sin and we ask for forgiveness, you know what the Bible says? That He's all alive. of our black, he is alive. Yeah, yes, yeah, Jesus died on the cross and he rose three days later. And all of that sin that we had in our hearts is washed whiter than snow. Isn't that awesome? And we can move on to our gold. You know, gold makes me think of really special things. Did you know that the Bible says that the streets of heaven are paved with gold? Isn't that awesome? So Jesus is alive and he can forgive our sin. And if we believe in him, it means that we get to be friends with God and we get to spend forever with him in heaven. It says that Jesus, um, when he rose up, 
few days later, he went up to heaven and he was preparing places for everyone who believes in God. Isn't that awesome? That's good news. That's the greatest gift that we could ever get. And you know what? What else happens when we choose to, to believe in Jesus and give our lives to him? What happens with these flowers? They grow. And these flowers need sun and rain and good soil. But you know what we need? We need what? What do we need to grow? Our head. We don't need our head. We need God's word. We need to read our Bible. We need to go to uh, church with our friends. And we need to spend time with God in prayer. Wow, you guys. I think you are all ready to share the good news with others. Well, we hope you have a good week. God bless. We'll see you soon. Bye. Wow. Oh, wow. Shout wow. wow. Jesus can do anything. Wow. Can't do anything